Um, hello, DF team. How do you feel about forced settings that are supposed to make a game more cinematic? Settings like forced aspect ratio, motion blur, film grain, lens dirt, etc. Personally, I hate them and think they should be optional, even if it will go against a developer's vision as part of accessibility best practices. Thanks for your amazing work and have a great day slash week slash month slash year. I mean, we could go on, but he <laughs> yeah. doesn't. It ends at year. So um, yeah, all bets are off for 2025. But I'm going to go to you on this one, John. Um, this is an interesting <laughs> point, which I'm presuming arises in the wake of um, uh, Hellblade 2, which does have a number of features fully engaged on the PC version where you're not uh, mm. permitted to uh, to remove them, though you can via mods. Uh, I think this is going to be a game by game thing, but in the case of something like Heckblade, uh, I I think like that is actually that's genuinely part of the artistic vision that they that they want for this game, because in this specific case they are trying to simulate the look of a very specific type of lens, right? Like the whole idea is that you're viewing this through this sort of lens, and all the distortions and everything about it is all part of that. And it's not just like, it's not just graphics for graphics sake. Like that's part of the look of the game. And I feel like getting rid of it all alters that too much. So in that case, you know, that's tricky. Like in these extreme cases, I can see the purpose of not having an option, but in most cases, I think it should be optional because it's usually not necessarily part of like the core, like identity of the game's visuals in the way like it is with uh, Hellblade. But um, I think mm -hmm. in most cases it should be optional because like he says, not some people just can't stand it. Uh, there are those that even have potential accessibility issues, headaches, whatever eye strain mm -hmm. from the, from the blur, I guess. Um you know, I used to be more into wanting to force a specific type of visual look for certain games, but I've kind of softened on that. And I understand there's just a wide range of of opinions out there. So the way something looks and, uh, you know, more customization, the better. Okay, Tom? Mm, I agree. I'm uh, fully on board with uh, John's point about accessibility options in, in the vein that there should be options in case people have... A difficulty with say motion blur or certain types of visual effects chromatic aberration that's fair enough um i think that should be all open to the user but at the same time there is such a range i mean a developer will pick its mark in terms of okay we want the game to look like toy story uh, so it's going to have a certain look to it we want the game to look like you know uh a cartoon so we're going to make it cell shaded these are stylistic choices that they make at the start of the game's production and they commit hard to it and in hellblade heckblade's case you've got a game that really wants to look like a film and uh, the the type of lens that it uses plays a huge part in that and simulating the lens type plays a huge part in that i mean films even do the same thing films shot on digital they'll go back in and simulate film grain and uh, all the things that are part of traditional 35 millimeter reels. Um, we're, we're in an era today. I mean, Dune and Dune 2, uh, the latest uh, versions of that film uh, do that. They have uh, kind of artificially, well, they add in film grain via a different process to a digital original uh, shot. So yeah, it's about style. And I think there is value to having a range of visual styles in video games, some of which may appeal, uh, some which won't. My pet peeve, I'll be honest, is aspect ratios, which don't align with my screen in games, but I can see its use. I, I think there's a I, there's a place for it. It used to be more annoying. If you played like that on, like, say, an OLED, or sorry, an, an LCD TV, that, that was often yeah. bad because in the black area is just glowing backlight but i feel like That's on true, modern yeah. oled screens with the perfect black level it looks pretty darn good where it just like basically it just like looks like a thicker bezel there's no visible image in that space yeah yeah for sure i'm highly conflicted about this because i think the nature of the pc platform is that to a certain extent the developer has to let go of the reins and hand it back to the user there's so many different variations of PC hardware. There's a certain expectation level from the PC users about um, the options that they, you know, could change. 
I think it's quite different from a sort of, you know, the closed shop that is the console arena. And, um, you know, stuff like chromatic aberration, I think, you you know, it's, it's perfectly fine to disable that without compromising the director's vision, so to speak. Uh, the question True. is really about getting the balance right, I guess. Um, I guess at the end of the day, though, Hellblade seems to be a particularly moddable game because it is based on Unreal Engine. Fairly sure the Unreal Engine unlocker works on it, but I'm looking at Nexus mods and uh, all of the mods that I'm seeing to tackle stuff like this just seem to be chasing, uh, changing elements of the .ini file. And, you know, the um, you can get your 16 by 9 aspect ratio if you want it. You can deliberately disable chromatic aberration. So options are still there. It's just, um, you know, sort of like one step removed. It's not too difficult, but, you know, maybe the developer mm. could have, could have uh, been a bit more open to that.